Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be putting together week 25 in my 2021 Project Life album. For today I am using the Strong Story Kit from Allie Edwards and I have already put my journaling on my journaling cards and I have my photos pre-printed. If you don't know how to print your journaling directly onto your physical cards, I do have a tutorial for that which I link down in the description to my videos below. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put you on fast forward. I'm going to get everything set out here on the table, embellish, do my stamping, all of that kind of stuff. And then once I have the spread done, we'll slow back down in order to finish out our video for today. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. So I went ahead and set out my spread the way that it's going to be inside of the album. I am using two of the same page protector. They each have five spots for a three by four card or photo, and there are two spots for the four by six. I am using the I Am Strong repeated pattern card for my title card, but I wanted to add a label sticker into the middle of it so I could put my dates for the week. For me, I am just using my dates on my title cards. I'm not titling them with the week and the week number just because I find that aside from actually saying, you know, what week I'm working on when I'm telling you guys in the video. I don't really look at that otherwise, so it doesn't bother me to not have the week title. Instead, I'm just using those dates. So I was debating between a yellow label sticker and a like kind of greenish colored label sticker and ultimately decided to just go with the yellow because there was some yellow in a couple of my photos. So I felt like it became some kind of um, accent color inside of my spread this week. And I think that it looks really nice and helps it to pop off of the title card anyway. Then I am taking a few of these chipboard pieces that I have remaining from the Strong Story Kit. I have already dug into this kit and used the entire thing up to tell a bunch of stories, which will be coming out at the end of this week and then every Friday during the month of July. So this is everything that I had left for the kit and I am going to find a place to put each of those chipboard pieces. One of them I'm putting in the upper right hand card because the the sentiment in there was a really nice sentiment. It said something about like feeling stronger in the broken places or something along those lines but it didn't make sense for my stories this week. So instead, I took the large circle that says right now, and I'm just going to cover up the sentiment and put it inside of the leafy wreath. Then I've got another one that is over on the photo of myself and my son sticking our tongues out at the camera. Um, I don't totally remember what that one says, but it, it wasn't too... Um, it wasn't too themey where it was hard to use it on the spread. So it just made sense for me to put it there. And I also really like the really small circle that says this story and putting that in between my dates almost as a hyphen of some sort to tell you, you know, we're going from this day to this day in this spread. I also have the striped one down on the bottom four by six photo of our family getting ice cream. And I how to interact with the page or with the with the edge of the photo and cut a portion of it off and the portion was large enough that I figured I could just add it to the photo of the kids and I on the suspended bridge at the zoo and then later I'll add a little bit more embellishing on top of that. Once I have all the chipboard pieces in place I'm going to grab over some of these puffy heart stickers. These are from the friends story kit which was back in 2020 and I'm going to use up the last yellow one and then all of the blue ones since those are the colors inside of this spread. And then I'm going to go through all of the tiny fray stickers which are white text on top of a dark navyish blue um, colored sticker and I'll find one to put on top of each of those puffy heart stickers. That's typically my favorite way to use those is to put the heart on there and then put a sentiment over the top of it to create a little tiny cluster of sorts. While I am going through this and finding all the tiny phrase stickers, which I should also mention that the bottom left hand corner of this spread, there was a card and it said 
not feeling strong right now, which again, didn't make sense for my week. So I found a tiny phrase sticker that made more sense and covered it up with that. So now that card has a completely different title. For this week, I have a couple of different stories that I am telling. One is uh, the random the random photo of my son and I is just a totally random photo. There's really no story that goes along with that other than it's just a random photo that I thought was kind of funny. The one underneath that is uh, a couple of boxes that I ordered for the kids that are art kits from artists and crafts. So it's got four different art projects that the kids and I can work on together throughout the course of the summer. Then I've got a couple of photos from a day when Aaron and I took the kids to go get ice cream. It's been raining here, like massive raining and storms almost every day. And I keep telling the kids that we're going to go get ice cream and then it storms and we don't. So on that day, it was raining, like downpour raining. And we're like, screw it. Let's just go get ice cream. <laughs> so that's what we did. And then uh, the next day, I've got a couple of pictures from Saturday getting my sister's wedding dress picked up and then going to the zoo on Sunday as a family. All right, friends, that completes my spread for this week. So I really love the use of the green and the yellow. I was really debating on whether or not to put this yellow label there, but once I did, it was really nice to play off of the yellow in their outfits and my sweater here. And then there's even a little bit in this photo and then down in this photo. So really, it was an accent color that was put there through my photos, and I think that that is a really nice touch to then bring it into my title card as well. I really like the way that that works. Um, yes, lots of fun stories to tell this week. Loved telling my stories through the lens of strengths and challenges, and then also having this little card that allowed me to put in 10 snippets from the weekend stories. So that was a fun way to tell a lot of the stories that happened throughout the weekend since our weekend was so busy. Um, but yeah, that is that. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my spread come together today. If you did, I would love a thumbs up on this video down below. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos as well. I will be back again on Friday this week with a story kit crush project and planning video for the strong story kit. So this same kit. Hopefully I will see you back here then. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye friends. Bye.